All right, man, let's talk about um, J.J. McCarthy and uh, K. McLenera. I think K. was a four-star uh, recruit, maybe less than that, and out of Reno, Nevada. But I think uh, Jim Harbaugh made a mistake yesterday. I thought he was going to race Sir McCarthy, but I think McCarthy earned a backup uh, position job. And he played McCarthy yesterday. And other, other than the screen fumble, I think they kept it, they kept it ruled as a fumble. I think he opened up Pandora box for people want to see McCarthy. Now, McNair had a solid day. He didn't do anything outside the ordinary other than that uh that deep uh nine or whatever fade that that went for a touchdown to Ronnie Brown uh, or what was his name Ronnie uh Ronnie Bell excuse me. But other than that, he was nine for eleven. He was very consistent yesterday, uh, but he didn't do nothing that wild a crowd. Okay, McCarthy came in. And he shot a dig on the was that a third down, maybe it was a second down. But he shot a he threw a dig a strike over the middle on the dig route and it was accurate. And then he ended up fumbling on the screen pass when so he should just threw it in the dirt. And that just comes with experience and you know understanding screen. And then he threw the college hashes are wide, right? Then NFL is close, right? He went outside the hashes from one almost one out of bounds. He threw it across his body on the move. He chucked it across his body all 30 some fucking yards to the other hash. And, you know, people was like, you know what? Hey, we might have a quarterback controversy now. And that's the controversy that Jim Harbaugh could have could have not had and could have told McCarthy, like, you ain't going to play. Could have put Vila in or Bowman in or something like that. But him playing McCarthy, it uh, started a quarterback controversy. And people going to want to see McCarthy as soon as K struggle. Um, McCarthy going to be in the call. I remember he said McCarthy was nipping at McNamara uh, heels, and he was competitive, and um, it was a film that leaked off in their practices that him doing good. Like I said before, a lot of people going to be calling for McCarthy. As soon as Bowman messed up, I think Washington, I think Washington football lost yesterday, so Washington coming to, uh, they coming to the big house, and, um, You know, they, they lost to Montana yesterday, 13-7. That's crazy. And um, I don't think they was ranked. So they come to 13-7, they lost to Montana. So that might be a game where you you may see McCarthy in again. You know, you look at Michigan football schedule. Honestly, uh, you can uh, you can put McCarthy in by trial by fire. You definitely could put him in. Uh, by fire and let them figure it out. But the way Penn State and, and Wisconsin defense played yesterday, if that's going to be the trend, usually the defense, um, the defense, uh, they come around faster than offense. But I think I think one Harbaugh favored a veteran quarterback, and two, the schedule is tough. All right, you, you know, this week you could play McCarthy. Let's say you want to start McCarthy. McCarthy could play Washington, Northern Illinois, Rutgers, but. Then October 2nd, you at Wisconsin. Then, you know, Nebraska, you play Northwestern, you play Michigan State. That's at Michigan State, that's a, a tough game. You play Indiana, who Indiana lost yesterday. They lost the other day. They lost to Iowa, like, by a blowout. Yeah, 34-6, so that's a tough game. That's That might not be a tough game. And then you go to Penn State, and you end off at home versus Ohio State, so... The games that worry about me, the ones that worry me and most about McCarthy is Wisconsin, Michigan State, Penn State, Ohio State. Them the games, you know what I'm saying? So this is why you play K because you're on the road versus Wisconsin, you're on the road versus Michigan State, you're on the world road versus Penn State. That's why you put this is why you playing McCarthy. So this is why I can't blame them for starting McCarthy. I mean for McNamara for starting McNamara. This is why. You know, even though this dude is a prodigy, he got a great arm, let him learn first. Let him see the atmosphere. Let him let him see how it is going on the road. Or, you know, I'm, I agree with with um with Harbaugh. But if McNair starts struggling, throwing picks, or he start being too conservative, people gonna call for McCarthy. But right now, as long as McNair not losing the football game, even if he ain't really truly winning from the pocket, let him warm up for a minute. If you ask me what game you probably going to see, you know, if McNair struggle, what game more likely, or if he get COVID, other than COVID, what game you might see McCarthy in there? 
That's a tough one. I'm going to probably say Northwestern. Any game after a big game. Nebraska, Northwestern, Indiana, Maryland. Those may be games you might see them in there, but we'll see. We'll see because McNamara didn't, didn't truly win that job last last year, you know, because he lost to uh, what's old boy Joe Milton over there in uh over there in uh who in Tennessee. So, I mean, we gotta wait and see, man. And um, um, we gotta wait and see. But that throw that he made, where he showed a lot of mobility. You know, and you know, we'll see. You know, we'll see. But like I said before, man, I think people make it in a quarterback controversy, and it, it might not be. It might not be. So, um, honestly, man, I understand. Uh, I understand Harbaugh's method behind this because you don't want McCarthy to get damaged too early. You don't want him to get hurt. But uh, hold on. But if he's a more talented guy, he know coverages and, and and he know audibles and stuff, then um he might have to be your guy. Because K McNair is a junior. So so he's only a junior, you know, so the future is with JJ McCarthy. So if McNair have a really bad game or have a bad stretch, if he lose this job, that's the pressure he under. McCarthy gonna be beating his ass, he probably got to go to FBS. So, you know. Michigan released the FBS quarterback, um, and he threw the most touchdowns in FBS history. Ten. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you his name. Hold on. Okay, what was it? I guess I thought he threw ten. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, Rand, Rand Heafley. Heafley. He threw 10 touchdown passes, sets an FBS record, and win. So, yeah, Heath, Rand Heafley. They said he was a Michigan quarterback. Yep, yep. So, he was. So, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Rand Heafley. Let me know what you think about the quarterback battle. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Appreciate that. Best way to donate thumbs up, share, subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, my social media links in the description. Uh, if you want to reach out on advertising channel, video, shop it up. Appreciate the love support. Subscribe to the channel one time for one time. Mercy Sports Talk. Peace.